Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be replacing the battery in this rechargeable camping lantern. So I have it all torn apart here and I have the battery pack out and I got a lot of use out of this. We used it hundreds of hours, but it was left on and went dead and then we never charged it up. So the batteries have dropped below the safe voltage. So that needs to be replaced. And these are 18650 cells. So it says here on the battery pack and there's two of them. So I'll be soldering and welding onto this to make a new pack. And to use that, I've got this CC mini spot welder. So if you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. Now I did buy this myself and I didn't buy it just for this one project. Uh, you might be able to just buy this battery pack if you had one, but I want to be able to learn this and do it. So I will say I've not done this before and I'm just sharing my experience. So this is maybe what you could expect if you're new to this and trying this out. So I have this battery pack here and it has the two leads on it. So I want to put leads on two new batteries. So I purchased these cells. These are Samsung cells. I got these from 18650 store, I think it's called. And I'll put a link below to those. I originally ordered 18650 cells off Amazon. And when I tested the voltage, they were at two volts. So they were under voltage. I tested all these and they're like 3.5 because I ordered these two and then four, six other cells, I think. Now I currently have them in the charger and I'm charging them up. So they'll be at the same rate, same charge level for when I build my pack. Now this battery charger here just plugs into USB. And I made a video on that and I'll drop a link below to that video. So let's get this open. I feel like there's something in here, like maybe some circuitry. This was held on with some double stick, like kind of foam tape. Now, obviously I don't want to cut into the cells, although they're pretty much protected on the outside. So these are the cells it was currently using. These are 2000 milliamp hour cells. And the ones I'm going to be putting in are 3,400 milliamp hour cells. So it has tabs on the end. Let's pull these off. Let's pull this end off. I may reuse those. Okay, so it looks like these are hooked up in parallel. So we can see the two cells are tabbed together. And we have both positives here and both negatives here. Now on these 18650 cells, you can tell the bottom is completely flat and the top is a little bit narrower. And then we have some Kapton tape and there is a little board in here. I assume it's some kind of protective circuitry. So that's just tape covering that. Let's get a meter out and measure this. So I'm going to set my meter to 20 volts to start. And we'll just measure the cell. And we're at 2.46 volts on these. So I do want to be careful about shorting these out. So I may be able to reuse some of this, like the tabs going to the circuit board. I have a permanent marker here. I'm just going to mark this as negative. And I don't know if that tape will stay on there. I'll pull the tape off. And I'll put a plus on here. And I'll put it on the tape also. I'm going to see if I can't peel these off of here. So it looks like I got a good break there. Let's see if I can get the other side off. Looks like I got it off. So I may be able to reuse these tabs. We'll see. Now to lift these, I'm actually clamping down and then kind of rolling to get some leverage to pull these up. Okay, that one kind of broke. So here I have the two cells. Looks like they're taped together. So I'm going to wrap some tape around these so they don't short and then I'll send them off to recycling. So I need to wait for these batteries to finish charging up and then we'll test out the spot welder and welding the batteries. So while I'm waiting for those to charge up, let's take a look at this. So this is the manual. Now I'm not going to cover everything in here. You'll want to read through it on your own, but this comes with the welder, USB-C charge cable, two replacement needles, a file, sandpaper, two nickel rolls, they're 0.5 by five meters, and the user manual. This shows the different buttons and such, and this shows what they do. So you long press to turn it on, and then short press to change preheat, delay, and gear. So you hit plus or minus 
to add gear or time. Now gear is just a level. You hold it down to switch between automatic and manual mode. So looks like it can preheat. Then it has a main level, has a delay. You can replace the heads. So this has 0.5 millimeter. If we go here to nickel, we have a 0.5 millimeter, so it says 70. So let's just try it out. Let's pull this out. Plastic on the screen here, peel that off. So this seems to be an aluminum extrusion. This says charge before use, avoid electrode contact. Yeah, stop using if it overheats. So to turn it on, we'll press power. And it has a little screen that says welcome. Oh, I think the voltage is too low. So I'll get this charging up. So it was at 3.5 volts. So I'll plug into USB here. Well, we'll look at this real quick, but we have the buttons on the end and these are tactile buttons. So they click and we have the USB charge here. And I think that's about it. So I'll get this charging. And it says 3.5, 3.6. So this has a little gauge and it tells you what the voltage is. So here's the file it comes with. And we have the nickel strips here, piece of sandpaper and extra electrodes. So now I'm getting the batteries and the spot welder charged up. So I'll let those finish and then we'll come back. Okay, so the welder is charged up. So I'll unplug it. And I'll hold down power. And we can see the little screen here. So I'll press the power button again, and it's over the time. So I'll change that to, it's at 75, I'll change that to 60. Then I'll hit power again, and we're on delay is one second, and preheat is seven milliseconds. So I'll just leave it on that. I don't know what the best settings are, but we'll try it out. So I'm going to shut this off for a minute while I'm getting ready. And to start, I'll just try welding onto the old battery. So it comes with nickel strip. I'll pull some of that out. So I'll just cut this with my pliers. And I'll place that on the battery. Now I'm supposed to hold this on here at a 45 degree angle. So I think I just touched this on here and it will weld. So let me just try it. There we go. That was actually super easy. Let's try again. Okay, so that sparked pretty good. Might have blown a hole through it, so I may need to back that off. So I'll hit power. I'm going to look at the chart here. When I actually had 60 as opposed to 65, so I'll drop it down. Let's try 40. That sparked, but it only went on one and not the other. So let's try welding to the other cell. That looked pretty good. So that was pretty straightforward. I may need to keep learning this, but for now, I think I know how to use it. So I'm just going to plug that back in. I just have a little bit of time left on my batteries to finish, and then we can try welding them. Well, I don't think it was recording when I did this, so I'm going to redo it. So I put the negative on and I hit it in a couple different spots. So now we're going to the positive side. So I'm going to bend this over. Now this tore a little bit. So actually, I think I'm going to put a little strip on the battery first. That'll give me a little bit more area. So I'm going to round these corners over. So here I have a little tab so I can extend the top button on this. I'm going to weld that on right there. Okay, I think that'll give me a little bit more surface to weld to. So now I'm going to place this on here and I'll weld these in place. So I'm holding this at a 45 degree angle.
Now it'd probably be best to not reuse this, but I am reusing it, so. So I'm done with this, I'll power it down by holding the power button down. And I had set that to 50 milliseconds. So this has a lot more structure now. Looks like this Kapton tape is kind of peeling off, so I'll replace it. Now before I welded these, I put Kapton between the cells. So there's a fresh piece to go over there. And I kept these little tabs to put on the end, so I'll put them back on the ends. Now I don't have any fancy shrink wrap to put back on here. So I'm just going to use some 3M Super 33 Plus electrical tape. And I'll wrap this around here. Okay, before I get too far, I should measure the voltage on the connector here. So I'm doing red to red, black to black. I want to make sure I don't short these when I'm doing this. It would be pretty easy to do. And I got 4.17. So that's looking good. So let's grab the lantern and I'll plug this in to the battery. I'll press the button on the top and it is lighting up. So now I can put this back together. So my thoughts on this, repairing my first battery went okay. I took the old battery apart and it already had the tabs on it and I decided to reuse those. Time will tell if that was a good idea, but that saved me having to solder onto this little board in here. I felt the spot welder worked fairly well. This takes some getting used to. When you turn it on, it's live when it's in automatic mode, so you have to be careful not to touch it. And it does shoot some sparks. I'm guessing if there's a little gap in there, it might shoot sparks or if you don't have good contact. So you do want to hold it at a 45 degree angle and I hit it in a couple spots just to make sure. But it did feel a lot more secure once I got it welded so I do feel like it latched on pretty good. So I'll probably do some more battery packs in the future. It's nice having this skill because lots of devices when the batteries go bad they have 18650 cells and you can just swap them out and build your own battery packs and get them running again. So if you have experience with this and you see anything I did wrong or could improve drop a comment below. I'm always interested in learning. But for now, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.